As Toronto deals with soaring temperatures, a different story in the north. Severe flooding in places like Sioux Lookout, where there's a state of emergency. In the weeks and months ahead, concern about forest fires too. Every Indigenous life uh, in rural and, and remote communities is important. Former Ontario Regional Chief Isidore Day highlighting how natural disaster response hasn't really been talked about in this election campaign. With extreme weather, it's also calling attention to the effects of climate change, food insecurity, skyrocketing fuel costs, accessible clean water, and contaminated lands are having on northern and remote First Nations. There is no ability to get into those communities uh, quickly and effectively. Uh, that's where the government needs to uh, step up its, its policy efforts and commitments. When it comes to the issues facing Indigenous peoples, Day says not enough dialogue in the lead up to June 2nd. I think these, uh, these election platforms uh, so far are, are very weak. Uh, and there, there has uh, been, um, I think, it can consistently with Indigenous issues, we, we, we're seeing more of the same in this uh, election. While there has been talk about developing the mineral-rich Ring of Fire region in the north, Day says engagement with First Nations on that mega project and others has been lacking. We're not hearing that, that governments are, are looking to include uh, Indigenous communities on, on a nation-to-nation -nation governance level. Uh, this is something that is almost mute uh, in, in any of the discussions. Dealing with Canada's legacy of residential schools and reconciliation with Indigenous peoples still front of mind as well. These MPPs are going to have to, you know, move beyond, uh, you know, just the, uh, the, the sorrow of reconciliation and, and look towards, you know, what the pathway is for solutions. And, and that's the hard work that's going to need to take place now. City News contacted the four major parties to ask what they'll do to address the issues raised by Indigenous peoples. Here's how they responded. The PCs pointed to their pre-election budget, money for commemorating residential school sites and mental health, also funds for COVID recovery and Indigenous institutes, as well as support for entrepreneurs. As for the NDP, commitments of working government to government, increasing Indigenous education, ending boil water advisories, and applying the UN Declaration of Rights of Indigenous Peoples to Ontario laws. The Liberals highlighting a plan to build 22,000 new homes, boost studies of First Nations languages in education, electrification projects, and a dedicated minister to oversee reconciliation efforts. Lastly, the Greens pledging to build the same number of homes, a push to support Indigenous-led clinics, applying the UN Declaration, work to fix damage at Grassy Narrows, and support to end boil water advisories. Meanwhile, Day calling for less partisanship at Queen's Park, as well as a broader inclusion of young people in the process. We've got serious issues and we need governments to, you know, not get caught up in the status quo and, and petty politics of actually, you know, taking the reins of government again. In Toronto, Nick West. Stall City News.